So we got another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another controversy type video, but I didn't start this one. So my name's East Coast Manga. Welcome back to a new manga video. Today we'll be talking about a topic that a manga tuber known by on the shelf actually brought up, and I think this is awesome. I think it's so cool that people are starting this trend of discussions that are actually interesting. This absolutely motivated me to make a video like my other video, you know, like my other video talking about used manga motivated other people to make videos. Uh, this is just awesome. So first of all, any contradicting opinions, uh, you know the. No disrespect meant to him. Uh, I think his video was awesome, and I think before anyone leaves a comment on his video, you know, disagreeing with anything that's in his title, I think you should actually watch the video. Because I know people get very defensive very fast. So the video, of course, was the manga hoarding versus collecting, uh, you know, the hauls, and our hauls bad, and our collection videos bad, and our uh, huge Reddit hauls bad. Uh, for the community, for viewers, you know, that, all that kind of stuff. So once again, I find this just super, super interesting, and I think and I think it's very important for uh, manga tubers to be open and able to make videos like this because viewers don't kill them for doing that. Um, I think, you know, throughout his video, unfortunately, he had people who did reach out to him, uh, you know, and uh, essentially, like, tried to publicly shame him and, uh, you know, personally come at him, and I think that's just so ridiculous and so petty. Personally, I think the biggest thing when it comes to collecting versus hoarding is self-control. If you exert self-control, then you're not hoarding. Hoarding is specifically having no self-control and just having things to have them. So as a viewer, you need to exert self-control. But at the same time, I don't blame any manga tours for a viewer's financial situation. If a viewer wants to go out and buy a ton of manga to you know, impress other people, that's on them. And same thing with a manga tuber. If a manga tuber wants to go out and buy a bunch of manga for, you know, retail, that's on them. At the end of the day, I think there are influences, but you can't control another person. They're gonna do what they want to do. And whether, you know, they're watching your video and, you know, they're influenced to go out and spend a bunch of money that they shouldn't be spending uh, versus them, you know, watching some other video or them going out and spending a bunch of money on alcohol or something like that because they watched a Bud Light commercial. At the end of the day, if you don't exert self-control, you know, there's gonna be a lot worse than manga that you could end up wasting your money on. Alright, so this section is actually post-recording. I This will be thrown somewhere into the video, but uh, after discussing this with a couple people and just kind of thinking about it a little more, I want to address something real quick, and I think it's very, very important, especially because this video is... Uh, I do talk about some heavy topics in this video. So I just want to address the fact that you don't need to feel obligated to have crazy hauls to upload on, on YouTube, you know, on MangaTube. If you're someone who is thinking about, you know, starting a channel, but you're like, you're stressed because you don't collect that much manga and you don't have all these crazy hauls to compare with other people like myself, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna lie, like I do have some videos that might be discouraging to some people. Uh, hopefully a bit of motivation I can give you is the manga community in general not even manga too, but the manga community in general is expanding and becoming bigger than it has ever before. Which then makes, you know, manga videos and manga too bigger than it, it's ever, like, it's growing so fast. And I think, and I think everyone would agree with me in saying that, uh, especially some of the older manga tubers who have been doing this for a while. You know, I'm sure there was points where it was kind of slow. And now I feel like you're able to get video, you're able to get views and subscribers a lot easier than you have been even within the last year. So I mentioned that because I encourage everyone to post and upload and create a channel because even if you don't have crazy hauls, you don't have that many hauls, like even if you only pick up a couple volumes a month, you know, you're still going to get more views now than you would have if you were uploading you know, six months ago, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. So please don't be discouraged because you can't produce what other manga channels are producing. You know, I do think that is something of an issue uh, with this topic. But at the same time, on the flip side, I do feel like, you know, if you're a manga channel and you are, you do buy a lot of manga, like, don't feel discouraged 
to not post a haul because you're afraid that, you know, someone, that you're afraid that it might influence someone to go out and buy manga. I mean, I mean, you can't control other people, of course, you know, certain videos can influence people, but, you know, if you want to get the views and you want to grow faster, by all means, do you. And I do talk about this uh, in certain parts of the video, but I think self-control is something that is extremely important with any hobby, any hobby. I think self-control is extremely important. So you as a viewer and us as uh, content creators need to express a certain amount of self-control. And we all have different situations financially and, you know, non-financially. So you gotta look at that and really think, you know, what is the best options for me? So for the meat of this video, I am uh, splitting it into three different categories. So the categories are uh, the viewer's perspective, a manga tuber's perspective, and just YouTube as a whole. So from a viewer's perspective, looking at manga hauls, manga collections on YouTube, looking at manga hauls on Reddit. I was a viewer before I was making videos, so I feel like I'm justified in talking about my opinion on this topic. Personally, I love watching manga hauls. I love watching unboxings. I I just like seeing what people pick up. I like people talking about what they pick up. I don't know, to me it's just a chill experience and I don't overthink it. Uh, now also, talking about viewers watching these, there is a chemistry that happens. Uh, I don't know whether it has to do with dopamine release or whatnot, but uh, if you look on YouTube, which we'll get into later, unboxings and hauls, uh, they give a chemical release in your brain that is similar to when you're actually going out and buying stuff. So, you know, when I make manga hauls, well, We'll talk about this. We'll talk about this in the next section, but if manga hauls make viewers happy, even if it's for a short period of time, uh, you're like, you don't know what people are going through. So, you know, if 10 or 15 minute video makes you happy and gives you a form of, of release and, and, you know, pleasure from, from the outside world, I really think there's nothing wrong with that. And also just like statistically speaking, manga hauls and manga collections, they get you more views than anything else, which means that more people want to see that than other videos. Like manga hauls and manga collections, this is what viewers want to see. Uh, you know, trying to shove something down their throat doesn't work unless they want to view it. So personally, from a viewer's perspective, I really like watching these videos. I really enjoy it. Um, now, you know, on the flip side, does it influence me to pick up more manga? I would say yes, it does. Um, you know, I'm not going to deny that. And for everyone, I don't know if that's necessarily healthy. I do think, you know, it's, it's something where it helps to support the industry, which we've talked about before. So I don't think it's a bad thing on a industry or a business level, but I really think viewers need to just look at their own situation and not try to base their situation off of another person's, especially if you should be saving money or you shouldn't be spending money on this or, you know, whatnot. There's other alternatives. We've already talked about that with, you know, Shana Jump app and whatnot. So from a viewer's perspective, I think you definitely have to have a certain self-control which I mean if you're a normal human like you should be able to have a certain self-control just use it I mean it's really as simple as that in my opinion so the next section I actually want to swap I want to do YouTube before I do from a manga tubers perspective so YouTube as a whole if you look at any section of video that has any sections of videos that have collectibles or physical items you're gonna see that unboxings and hauls and collections do the best and speaking from perspective of someone who's had another channel. I had right around 2,500 subscribers on my other channel, but my other channel was streetwear and sneakers and that kind of stuff. And, but also when I was on that channel, you know what the best videos were? Hauls, unboxings, and collections. And you know what channels were the most popular? The ones that had the most of it. The ones who had the most stuff. And when you are buying things just to buy them and just to show them in a video, I think that is where things go really south. But at the same time, a lot of people in that community, and this one hasn't, you know, this one's nowhere near as big as that community, but a lot of people in that community, they'll end up buying that stuff and then making ad revenue or making or having sponsorships or just reselling it and be able to make the money back so from that perspective i mean that's just a business move and to be honest like the, those types of videos they're not going anywhere like people still want to see that and you know there's these situations where people are like oh you know i don't like manga hauls i don't like manga collections you know i'd rather see something more creative well we've seen channels come through here even since i've been making videos that have tried that approach and they they stopped doing it and it's unfortunate because i think channels like that are comparing themselves to other channels that have hauls and stuff like mine i'm not gonna lie i do i do have a lot of hauls 
um, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But I think that's another issue is when people compare themselves to others who are doing different type of content than them. Uh, you know, you might grow at a slower pace, but then switching over to a manga tuber's perspective. So, you know, my perspective on the situation in terms of like the videos I produce and stuff like that. Um, you know, I do produce a lot of hauls. I have another collection video coming up soon if it's not already released. And, and I've talked about this before, I don't think people should buy manga just to buy manga, especially manga tubers. I don't think you should buy manga just to compete with other, you know, people uh, releasing these videos. And I know it's difficult because you know, channels like mine and other channels that do hauls and stuff like that uh, have grown pretty fast, and I've re and I recognize that. And I discussed this in the, the beginning of my collection video, but like specifically in my situation, a lot of the manga I have and I've showed off has been because I've been able to get used hauls. Uh, most of the manga I I've gotten that like you know the big hauls and you know all this kind of stuff, I got most of those for a dollar or under a dollar a volume. And most people can't do that. There's not that much uh, you know there's not that many crazy deals that pop up for everyone. Personally, I've just been very lucky. Also, kind of like when I talked about the viewers side, manga hauls, manga collections, uh, you know they they get you the best views and the most subscribers. So if you want to grow quickly that's the best way to do it people want to see that content so trying to avoid that content you know specifically avoid that content and not make that content well your channel is going to grow slow and you know a lot of people maybe don't like that but that's just that's just how it is if you're making specifically manga content like that's just that th those videos do the best and personally I feel like when you when you don't compare yourself to other channels I think that's as a manga tuber that's where you have the most enjoyment and that's where you get the most out of your channel and your subscribers and the people who comment on your videos and you interact with that's where I feel like things can go south when you start to compare yourself to other people who are making videos and personally like I don't care what people's TBRs are like that they, why 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 should I concern myself with that why should I concern myself with how much manga people you know have and how much they have to read and whatnot um, I like I, I don't I don't care about that personally though at the end of the day you know kind of wrap this video up I know it's been kind of crazy I just personally don't care about people uploading manga hauls and, and collections and stuff like that uh, that's what the viewers want if the viewers didn't want that and they didn't view those people wouldn't upload them so you know manga tube is manga hauls and manga collections and reviews and impressions and you know those things they, they get a little less views but you still upload them you still post them people still enjoy watching them but yeah I mean at the end of the day it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> and you either embrace it or you don't. It's, I mean, it's your choice. Viewers want to see what viewers want to see. Personally, like I said, I, I think that you should, if you're making creative videos, I think you should keep pushing that. I think these discussions are also awesome to break up these manga halls and stuff. But, you know, especially if you want to take someone like uh, Insidious Swede, which I've talked about before, you know, he's one of the bigger manga tubers who, I mean, obviously he's not posting right now. Uh, but just in, in general with manga tube and he has a lot of hauls and he has some collections I'm not gonna lie there's a, there's a lot of hauls but he also has these awesome super interesting videos where it's like top 10 psychological manga top 10 dark manga top 10 action manga da 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 you know it's those I find also very very interesting so if you want to switch some stuff up make some of those but yeah I think that's gonna wrap up this video if there's anything else that I have to feel like you know I feel like I have to add to this video it'll be down in the comment section uh, you know I'll either pin it or it'll just be you know in replies to people but overall I, I don't really disagree with what he said I just have uh, a little different of a perspective on it. and I'll say it once again just because you know I, I am a, a channel that does have uh, pretty big hauls and you know the shop with me videos and stuff like that you know I once again I, I do not recommend you buy manga just to buy it um, now you, if you guys watch my there's like 270 volumes of manga whatever uh, that does seem kind of obsessive but at the end of the day, I sold all the manga that I didn't want, and it paid for the manga that I did want. So sometimes you have to look into things a little more uh, than just what's on the surface. But yeah, I don't know. I just I, I enjoy making videos that I enjoy watching. And that's as basic as I can tell it. But yeah, it's gonna be it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. I have a bunch of other videos coming. I you know if there's a topic that comes up like this, I always make a video on it. And yeah, I'd love to hear your opinion down in the comment section. And 